Hey guys, it's your humble host, or if you prefer, so I'm back with another video. There has been another addition added to the blog as of December 16th, 2018. I'm going to go over it, and then we're going to look at something that was uh, referenced in the blog. So let's kick over to the TV. We are continually having to refute allegations that this is unreal or a scam of some sort. It seems that there are those who think that the numerous court documents we have on the site are somehow fabricated because they can't be found online. And to that I say, people who have never had to request copies of marriage licenses, court records, are very, very ignorant. A lot of states have it to where now you have to go through the state county clerk you even have to put in a uh, petition you have to fill out a reason you have to turn in your driver's license you have to give your information to even get a court document in a lot of different states so for anyone who's calling this fake or scam or unreal and somehow saying the court documents have been fabricated which oh my goodness there's over I want to say over a hundred pages worth just in the dossier, if not more. The dossier is 300 and something pages. And for those of you who are calling those fake, that's, that's a lot of time for someone to go out of their way, 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 way out of their way to fabricate all those court documents. I mean, really, like I said, if you have not had to put in a petition or a request for passport documents or even a marriage license or a divorce record, you have no idea what you're talking about. Please be quiet. Let's continue. In family court, the privacy of children is taken into account and therefore custody cases like this are only accessible online to an active member of the bar. If you aren't a legal representative, the only way you can access these documents is to go to the actual courthouse in person and request them, which we did, and pay a copy and fee. And to that I also say, to add even more, and I'm going to reference the DO5 case once again. When it comes to children, especially when it comes to children, what is going on with them if they have to be moved? All of that has to be kept private for the sake of the children. And sometimes if you are not a part of the case or even a part of the bar, there are times where you're not even allowed to access court documents. Some states are very, very strict. So once again, it is a serious pain in the ass to get a hold of any court documents and that depends on the state. Even to get a hold of past CPS files, marriage licenses, divorce records, anything of that personal nature is difficult. Some states make it more difficult, some states not so much. But once again, for those of you calling scam because you can't find this stuff online, you know, actually, a lot of you go on and take the time to see if you can pull up court documents of the past murderers or the past killers or even the past robbers. Bet you, you can't. There might be something that got leaked into an article somewhere. But like I said, court documents are very, very personal. And very few people have access to them depending on the state. I've actually had to go and look for copies of... Um, court documents, digging into my own some personal stuff. I freaking had to put in a quest for a file that had to do with me, but I still had to go through the process just to get the file on me. Not a criminal record, but it was a, a personal document. A very, very old document. Anyway, let's continue. Uh, on the last page, which we will w look at, on the last page of the original court filing, you will see a receipt where my husband paid for the copies with his name as the payer. So let me flip over because I actually have these set up here. Um, if you go to savejames.com court documents and you see the original court filing of July 2nd, 2018, which was uh, earlier this year, and you click on it, which I did, it's the Younger versus... Uh, Gorgulous, and you go all the way down to page 35. Here's the receipt for uh, Mr. Joe Scott. Mr. Joe Scott is Sarah Scott's husband. So here's how much he had to pay $34. 
uh, copies and postage fees, which more than likely got uh, mailed out to them once they went and requested it. So, but still, yeah, they went and paid for all of that stuff. So once again, for those of you running your mouse, shush, you're not helping. You have no idea what you're talking about, obviously, if you've never had to go and request these things or get these things for yourselves. Anyway, let me get back over to the blog so we can finish it. I understand that this is frightening. Oh, let me skip over one. For those who are supporting this cause, I ask that you help us to protect these kids by refuting false allegations and asking any who call it a scam to provide proof to the contrary. Claiming that something is invalid or a scam with no proof is more damaging than people realize. And that's true enough. Once again, quit running your mouths because a lot of you have no idea what you're talking about. Anyone who's claiming that these court documents are fake or that this is a scam because you can't access them online. I'm sorry, when was the last time that you even had to go and fetch a court document for yourself or even get a hold of a, a past license or divorce record or anything of that nature? Let me know because I've done it and I it's a pain in the butt. It really freaking is. Like I said, it was a pain in the butt just to get my own personal record. Um, and it didn't even have everything in there. So, yeah. Anyway, good lord. Um, I understand that this is frightening and seems like it shouldn't be possible. I wish it weren't true. Unfortunately, it is. And the very real life of this child and his brother are at stake. Please continue to share and help us protect these kids. Sarah Scott. So, also, let me touch upon how people think this is unreal. Um, have a lot of you been paying attention or even reading upon what's been um, getting snuck into the school curriculum for children? Anybody? Anybody familiar with Pop and Ollie or uh, Queer Kids stuff? Especially with Pop and Ollie, he actually just recently did a video on something called the Gender Unicorn. Well, last from what I read, that stupid thing is being infiltrated into schools in Washington State. Um, they've been sneaking that sort of curriculum in the schools for quite a while now, as well as kindergarten. So this is a very real concept. We already see this garbage happening in Canada. Any, any one of you have been following what's been going on with Canada, with Trudeau and the laws and how now it's considered child abuse if um, the parents don't conform to the uh, child's chosen gender identity, they can get their child snatched away. We're seeing that creep down into Texas any of you follow that because if not I recommend you guys really read up on that garbage this stuff is for real and it's freaking happening it's creeping in the US it's been doing it for a while so once again I ask personally that if you do not know what you're talking about and if you have no evidence or proof shut your mouth because you are not helping the situation this kid is in serious trouble Jude is in serious trouble. If you have not watched my videos, if you have not watched the other videos, um, read the articles about what is going on, please, please go and do so. Court documents are expensive. They're a pain in the butt to get. And the fact that Sarah, Scott, and Gwen have been able to even post them and there's now, like I said, mentioned before, Anna's trying to get all of this sealed away. You want to know why? Because the documents are real and Anne doesn't want this crap getting out. Mind blown. Like I said, I'm not trying to be an ass. But if you have no idea what you're talking about and if you've never been through this process before, as little experience as I have with this, even I know it's a pain in the butt to get court records. So, but anyway, because I've done it, I've tried to do it with other records. Hello? And anyone who has actually had to go through the process themselves, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It does depend on the state, how difficult it is, or how easy it can be. But you still have to go in person to the county clerk to go get them. They're not internet documents. And the only reason why the annulment was on that one website, because sometimes they do make certain documents public, because it had to do with Anne and Jeff that was between two adults anytime it has to do with children all that gets shut down and you personally have to request it and then they take all your information driver's license social security your address and asking you why you want the court 
record in the first place. So go down to Texas. If you live in Texas, go down to the courthouse that she's referencing and go get these freaking documents for yourselves. It, it, it's not that hard for everyone else. Make a phone call or something. I, I, I don't know, but please stop running your mouth and saying that this is a scam or f unreal. Um, when I know a lot of you haven't been through this process yourselves and a lot of you can't even prove what you're saying. So please shut up. Anyway, I'm sorry, guys, that we had this same situation with the DO5, and I know that was a whole nother mess, but once again, people running their mouths without any info to back it up, and I know it could be coming from, some of it's coming from 4chan, because I've been on those threads, and those people are idiots. <laughs> you have smart people on 4chan, and then you got the dummies. Well, you got the dummies running their mouths saying this is fake or fraud or scam, it's just like, no go away. <laughs> you guys are useless. And then you probably got some of the people from Anne's party trying to keep this hush-hush. I know you got the radical uh, transgender people involved saying, oh, well, this ain't real. This isn't what we're about. Blah. No, no. Y go away. But anyway, I'm done here. Um, I will update y'all again when there is an update. But have a good one and Please, if you do not, this is just rule of thumb, if you do not have evidence for the stuff that you are claiming, do not open your mouth and spill it. Keep it to yourself until you get uh, valid evidence that you can share without getting into trouble, or at least back up your story. And with that said, I'm out. Mm.